congratulations on the film. How are you all feeling today? Sleepy. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I know. Let's be honest. I'm always tired. <laughs> it's an early wake up call too. So yeah. I I understand that completely. Well, <laughs> could I have you just introduce yourselves and your role in they slash them? Okay. Well. Okay. I'll just. All right. Yeah. So I'm Austin Crute, and I play Toby in They Slash Them. I am Theo Germain, and I play Jordan in They Slash Them. And my name's Scott Turner Schofield. I'm an executive producer along with Kevin Bacon and John Logan. Perfect. Thank you so much. And Theo, I wanted to start with you. I mean, there's this emotional scene between Jordan and Cora that takes place at the camp. Um, and so I just wanted to know, you know, how you felt with this exploring their backstory of the LGBTQ community and how was it creating that emotional raw scene? Ooh, um, oh my God. Well, firstly, that is one of my favorite scenes of the entire film. Uh, it's just such this weird break from the pace, you know, of other things that are happening over the, the story. Um, but uh, coming up with a background for the character was really fun. I kind of can be a little bit of a dramaturg when it comes to like coming up with characters' backgrounds. And I'm also really, really interested in psychology. Uh, so I will like do a psychological profile of like this person. I'm really interested in like, how do I figure out like, you know, what their likes and dislikes are, you know, what are their triggers? Like, you know, are they depressed? You know, are they this way? What are their habits? You know, uh, what is all of this? And, um, uh, I'll do stuff like, you know, I'll like journal as the character and like, you know, think about what they're like, like what their favorite foods are. And like, I really just kind of go nuts with, um, with, with creating a character because I want them to be really real and I want them to like, I want like justice to be served for them and I want their story to be told, you know, on screen, on, on screen, on screen, <laughs> I, do, I do theater too. So on screen in the best way possible. Um, but it was also kind of challenging because there were some overlaps between the background, you know, of myself and the character that I was making up. Um, so I was like, that was like kind of hard sometimes, but everything else was like really cool. Yeah, I was going to ask that, you know, how similar, um, you know, your background and their background are. So I'm glad you kind of touched on, you know, trying to balance that and make them both authentic, but different, I would say. Dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> A little dysfunctional. We both have dysfunctional backgrounds. Um, yeah, but we're both very much ourselves. And and it's great to, to bring <laughs> attention to that. And, and Austin, going over to you, I mean, Toby, there's so many amazing scenes built around that character. So I just wanted to ask what it was like bringing to life someone with so much passion. It was very fun. I think definitely my character is the most self-accepting right off the bat. Um, of the campers and being able to live in that freedom. I'll say it is a little bit of a juxtaposition to Austin because Austin took some time. Austin had to take some time to get into the game. But um, Toby it is, is somebody that is just so from a young age, very much so knew who he was, very much so um, is just proud of himself. And, you know, he agreed with his parents, look, I'm going to go to this camp so that I can get on the Moulin Rouge in New York. <laughs> I love, so, that. I love that detail. Yeah. <laughs> They're so, so fun. And Scott, I want to go to you. I mean, just asking about this balance. We've been talking a lot about, you know, trying to balance and find that in this movie. So, you know, we're balancing this conversion camp, but also the horror theme. So what was that challenge like? Well, I mean, it's not challenging at all to make a horror movie about conversion therapy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly. it's all right there. Yeah. But like, I mean, I guess I wanted to ask, like, adding in the mass killer and like that thing but still you know showing the social issues absolutely well you know so john is such a master i mean it's like he has a doctorate in horror he seriously he, uh, i mean it's unreal his understanding and his grounding in the genre mm -hmm. and he knew that you know horror has been used to talk about social issues throughout its history um and particularly it's it's sort of focused on gender and sexuality issues but not in a good way uh mm -hmm. and so now um you know as in history we were talking we were thinking about like our anxieties and our phobias and our fears and now this is a film about you know the celebration and the empowerment of lgbtq folks and so for me that was the balance it, you know at, at first i was a little worried i was like oh you know 
is this going to be too much trauma? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's, it's seriously, it's a very serious question and an important question to ask. It really yeah. was. Yeah. But then when we got these folks in the room and you felt it and you'll see it on screen, you know, mm-hmm. the, the power. That's I felt there. empowered watching I did the movie. Too. Yeah. I was I, like shortly. So that's mm-hmm. the balance. These folks, these authentically cast LGBTQ actors made the balance of this movie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all so much for sharing and thank you for chatting with me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.